Hello friend, tired of boring old swinging melee and want to try something different? Well, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Zuzukorn's Expert Yo-Yo Progression Guide, where I show you a recommended boss and gear progression so that you can have a smooth yo-yoer journey of your own. I'm Zuzukorn and I aim to entertain you, encourage you and offer you a place to call home. So subscribe now and join the Zuzukorn family. Quick disclaimer here, Terraria is an amazing game with so many different weapons and playstyles, so just play the way you want to. This video is simply just a recommendation for those of you who are unsure on how to progress as a yo-yoer. Unlike my normal guides, I won't do a full playthrough and I won't be going through every single thing you should be doing. Instead, I'll just give rough guidelines here. Starting off in your new world, cut down trees and build a couple of NPC houses. Build them any way you want, even mere boxes are beautiful little houses. Craft your workbench using wood, then make wood armor if you want to. Explore the underground ASAP to find cobwebs, which are honestly quite abundant. Make the wooden yo-yo as your first ever yo-yo. It's not very good, but it should allow you to explore a little without dying instantly. As you venture underground, also aim to get a gem hook and even a better pickaxe or armor if you want to. Also, prioritize increasing your max health with life crystals to the current cap of 400. Look for a loom, which is commonly found in underground houses. If you can't find one, you can also opt to craft one yourself. All you need is to first make a sawmill using wood, iron bars and chain. Chain is crafted using iron and an anvil, so it's not difficult to make. It's essentially just wood and iron. Then, craft the loom at a sawmill using 12 wood. Simple. Using 30 cobwebs, craft white string. This is an accessory that will boost your yo-yo range. A tip here if you have excess cobwebs is to craft multiple white strings until you get one with a decent modifier. Defense or damage is usually more desirable. At any time during your exploration, if you come across a traveling merchant or a skeleton merchant, try to pick up a counterweight as well which is sold for 5 gold. This accessory summons a… well, a counterweight, which helps to protect you somewhat by keeping enemies away from you if they come too close. Enter the underground jungle and hunt for materials to make the Amazon yo-yo. To craft one, you will need 8 rich mahogany, which is easily obtained from jungle trees, 12 stingers, obtained from hornets, 1 vine from the man-eaters, and 9 jungle spores, which are found scattered around the jungle. If you're having trouble due to the tough enemies, a great tip is to box yourself in and then use a small hole to take down the hornets from safety. The thing is, if you box yourself in too tightly, man-eaters will still destroy you if you have no place to run. With all your materials obtained, craft the Amazon yo-yo and the anvil. Congratulations, you have obtained your very first decent-ish yo-yo for pre-hard mode. If your traveling merchant officer code one yo-yo, you can try getting that too, it's very slightly stronger than the Amazon. With your Amazon or Code 1 yo-yo, take down the Eye of Cthulhu. In expert mode, you will almost definitely need a pair of Hermes boots or any equivalent to deal with this boss. Having a pair will allow you to continually run and avoid the fast dashes. Once you've defeated the Eye, you might notice that you can craft the Malice or Artery yo-yo. But those are actually much worse than the Amazon, so I wouldn't bother with those. Enter the Corruption of Crimson and take down the Eater of Worlds or Brain of Cthulhu. If you can't beat it fully, just break enough parts to obtain a couple of Shadow Scales or Tissue Samples respectively. This will allow you to craft the Nightmare or Deathbringer pickaxe. Then, I recommend entering the Underworld to mine Hellstone. You will need an Obsidian Skin Potion, which is made from Water Leaf, Fire Blossom, Portal Water, and Obsidian, which is formed when water meets lava. With the potion consumed, fearlessly jump into lava to mine Hellstone Ore. Remember to pick up a Hellforge as well, which will allow you to smelt the ore. Once you're done, return home and smelt your Hellstone Bars, which will require one Obsidian each. Then, make the Molten Armor Set which is a great melee-based armor with high defense. This will ensure that you're nice and tanky, while still being able to do damage. With this, take down the Eater of Worlds or Brain of Cthulhu, if you haven't yet. Also, defeat Skeletron for dungeon access, 
and also the Queen Bee to unlock the Witch Doctor. In the dungeon, you could also get a Valor Yo-Yo, which is found from the locked golden chests. These are scattered throughout the dungeon. You might also want to get a Cobalt Shield to prevent knockback. With Skeletron defeated, Underworld enemies also have a chance to drop the Cascade Yo-Yo, which is the strongest pre-hard mode Yo-Yo. I don't recommend farming for this specifically, due to its low drop rate, but if you manage to find one or if you want to farm for it, then go ahead. This yo-yo inflicts the on-fire debuff, which does help, but with flasks, you don't really need it. So as I was saying, you can consider using flasks instead, which is made at the imbuing station which is sold by the witch doctor. At this point in time, the relevant ones are probably the fire flask and the poison one, if you really want to use them. Once you're ready with all your preparation, take down the wall of flesh. I found the wall to be extremely challenging for melee users, since most of the time, you'll just be dealing with the hungries. It will be a long drawn fight, but I'm sure you can do it eventually. Once you've defeated the wall of flesh, claim your loot and return home. Do your hard mode ore mining after breaking demon altars, and get your hard mode anvil. There are a couple of yo-yo choices here. If you want something craftable, you can go for the Chick Yo-Yo, which is made using the Wooden Yo-Yo, 15 Crystal Shards from the Hollow, and 10 Souls of Light. This is rather challenging if your pre-hard mode Yo-Yo isn't really doing well. It is a nice looking Yo-Yo though. If only we could have layered weapons in Terraria. In a similar vein, the Underworld enemies now drop the Hellfire Yo-Yo, which is also a strong contender for an early hard mode weapon. However, just like before, Taking enemies down might be pretty difficult, so farming is a big no-no for me. Instead, what I recommend is getting the Amarok, which is dropped from enemies in a snow biome. There are quite a few ways to do this easily though, without farming. One method is to summon King Slime in the snow biome. By doing so, every slime minion has a chance to drop the yo-yo, and it shouldn't take you more than at most 5 minutes to get one. Similarly, you can also summon the Eater of Worlds or the Brain of Cthulhu for this method. I prefer the Eater of Worlds on Corruption Worlds and King Slime on Crimson Worlds. Regardless, it shouldn't take you too long to get an Amarok, which is the strongest of the three yo-yos I've mentioned, and it also inflicts the Frostburn debuff. If you come across the Skeleton Merchant in hard mode, make sure you grab a yo-yo glove for 50 gold. This is extremely expensive, but it basically doubles your DPS by creating a second yo-yo when you attack enemies. It also doubles your counterweight, so that's always appreciated. In addition, you can now combine the string, yo-yo glove and counterweight into the yo-yo bag at the Tinkerer's Workshop. This frees up so much more space for other accessories. If you want, you can also pick up the two possible skeleton merchant yo-yos if you'd like. They're comparable to the Amarok. It's also about time to take down the three mechanical bosses. Make sure you have a nice arena and a decent pair of wings. You can do so in any order that you like. Just use the Amarok or Skeleton Merchant yo-yos and whatever armor you can get your hands on. Hard mode or armors are pretty good, but I don't think you need to go for titanium tier, all things considered. It is strong but not worth the grind in my opinion. However, if you're having trouble, please feel free to do so. At any point during hard mode, you can also start making flasks for Icor or Cursed Flames. Icor is probably the better one out of the two. And if you didn't know yet, you can buy seeds of the opposite world evil from the Dryad in a graveyard biome. So yes, you can get Icor in a corruption world now, and vice versa. With the mechanical bosses defeated, I recommend using the hollowed armor set. Just make sure you craft the melee helmet. You can also find Yellets, dropped by jungle enemies if you've defeated at least one mechanical boss. So if you're having trouble with the others, you might want to get a pair of Yellets as a power boost. Similarly, the Travelling Merchant also sells the Code 2 yo-yo after one mechanical, and this is a strong yo-yo that can stay in the air indefinitely, which is definitely pretty handy. If you manage to get Ritz Throw or the Valkyrie yo-yo from Expert Mode Treasure Bags, those are really strong right now as well. Then take down Plantera, which shouldn't be too much of an issue with proper gear. I also recommend getting the Turtle Armor, which requires Turtle Shells from Jungle Tortoises. Yes, Turtle Shells from Tortoises. I have no idea why it's named like that, but hey, it's Terraria. 
The solar eclipse is an event that has a chance of spawning every single day. And it only spawns Mothrons post Plantera now in Terraria 1.4. So yes, you might be surprised if you're a veteran, but I'm serious. Mothron only spawns post Plantera now. In a similar vein, Terra Blade is also post Plantera now. The more you know, huh? Anyway, Mothron drops the Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo, the second strongest yo-yo in the game. It has extremely high damage, long reach, and also infinite uptime. It drops in a 1 in 3 chance from Mothron, so cross your fingers and hope for the best. Once you've gotten that, take down Golem in the Jungle Temple. Using the Beetle Shells from Golem, upgrade your Turtle Armor to the Beetle Armor as well. If you like Defense, go for the Defense one. And if you like Offense, go for the Offensive one. One might be objectively better than the other, but just choose whatever you like. You don't really need anything else as a yo-yo player, other than maybe Fishron or Empress Wings for the Moonlord fight. So in essence, all you need to do at this point in time is to clean up with whatever events you wish to do, and then take down the Lunatic Cultist. I recommend a flying mount, like the UFO or the Witch's Broomstick, but it's up to you. With the Lunatic Cultist defeated, take down each of the four Lunar Pillars. Before you take down the last one though, Make sure to have all your preparation done and arena built. This means having your accessories ready and reforged, your flasks prepared, your buff potions crafted, and your boss arena built. I highly recommend a long road of asphalt because that seems to work for me the best. Once ready, take down the last pillar and get ready for the Moon Lord who will spawn in one minute. I also recommend taking super healing potions which heal a whopping 200 health each. When the Moon Lord arrives, the screen will flash, so run forward and keep your distance while attacking the eyes. Just make sure you try to release all three eyes at once. Also, always keep a lookout for the middle eye, and prepare to fly up when you see charging particles, which signal the arrival of a phantasmal death ray. Fishron Wings and Empress Wing really works wonders here. Eventually, you will get all three eyes out, at the same time hopefully, and then the core will open. Just try to create some distance and let the Moon Lord catch up a little, then destroy its core with your trusty yo-yo. It might take you a couple of tries, but you will defeat the Moon Lord and complete your yo-yo journey. You have used the Cthulhu to destroy the Cthulhu. Congratulations! There is an amazingly OP yo-yo in the treasure bag if you're lucky, and I really recommend you to give that a try if you can. It's probably my favourite weapon in Terraria, but hey, that's for you to find out. Your yo-yo journey is now complete, but there's so much more to do and explore. So many classes and challenges to try, so enjoy your Terraria journey. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon too for more Terraria guides and other videos. Do follow me on social media as well, and check out the amazingly chic Zuzucorin merchandise too. This has been Zuzucorin. Have a nice day, and have a great week ahead. Bye bye!